guys hope you're doing great our today's question is find all disappeared numbers in an array so the question says given an array of integers where what a of i every integer in the array is in the range of 1 to n including 1 and n where n is the size of the array uh, some elements appear twice and others appear once find all the elements of 1 comma n inclusive that do not appear in this array could you do it without extra space and in O of n runtime? We may assume the returned list does not count as extra space. All right. So for example, this is the given array. So the size of the array is 8, right? So that means that 1 and 8, n is 8, right? So 1 and 8 included. There are 8 numbers in this. And as we can see, 2 is repeating twice and 3 is also repeating twice. So there are two numbers between 1 and 8, 1, 8 inclusive, which are not there in this, right? Which is 5 and 6, and that's what we need to find out, okay? So I think uh, this question generally has a very, this is a very unique type of a question, and um, the only condition we need to notice here is that it states that the numbers are in a given range because that is really important for us to use this approach. So what we'll be doing to solve this question is that uh, we will play with the indices and the number values. So for example, we know that since we know that the numbers are in the range of 1 to 8 here, right? And the indexes that we have in this array are from 0 to 7 because 8 is the size of the array. That is why, let's say we see 4. So what we'll do is that to convert it into a 0 based index, we just subtract 1 from it, right? Because there's no 0 here. So we just subtract 1 from it and the array element at 3, right? 4 minus 1, 3. We just mark it in a way that we are able to identify that I have seen a 4 in this area before, okay? So we just mark it negative, right? And then similarly for all the other values, we take the absolute value of the uh, element and subtract one from it and then mark the um, element at that index as negative if it's already not negative, right? So that way is what would happen is that at the end, there will be certain indexes which have for which the values are not there. For example, since 5 is not there, so 5 minus 1, 4, the index 4 value would be positive, right? Similarly, since 6 is not there, so 6 minus 1, 5, so the value at the index 5 would also be positive. So when we travel through the array once more, we'll find that these two values are still positive, which means that their index plus one, these values have not been seen in the array. And that is how we'll determine that this is our output, right? So we'll just start coding and see how that works. Yeah, okay. So, we simply have to have a for loop, simple one, which goes till nums dot length and i plus plus. Okay. So the current value is nums of i. Okay. Nums of i. And of course, we want to take the absolute of this because there we might have there might be a duplicate so we might have changed the value of this to a negative value before so we don't want to like work on that so we just take a absolute using math for absolute function okay and then what we have to do is that um yeah so so we are not con now converting it, it into a zero based index value because we don't have zeros here. We just have one to n, right? So one will map to zero, two will map to one and so on. So this will be equal to 
the minus we just want to negate it and we want to ensure that we are not like um, we maybe in the past we have already negated this value but since we will be negating it again it will become positive and we would not be able to identify the right output so we just want to negate the absolute value of it yeah so here we have taken out the absolute value and reassigned it a negative uh, negation of the same value that's all okay so we just keep on doing this for the whole uh, array and after that we just have to like travel through it once more okay and we need the indexes so it will be i based again okay and i plus plus and then we just check that if nums of i is greater than zero right so which means it's a positive value then we'll have to create a list for our output here it will be an integer just call it result new sorry array list of integer good so what we'll do is we'll just add to it now the index is zero based and since we had converted this to a, a zero based index the value so if for example the nums of five is positive it means that six has not been seen anywhere in the array right so that's what we'll do we'll just do an i plus one uh, sorry we'll have to do a um okay so if at index 5 we are seeing a positive value then yeah i plus 1 right cool okay and that's it we should return result yeah okay so clearly the time complexity for this is o of n because we have just <clears throat> traversed through the array once and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any collection or anything. So yeah, it works. So hope you guys find this helpful and this is a really important approach and applies to some specific set of questions. So please try to understand this and if you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Keep coding and take care guys.